approximately 22, 30 hours, LAFD responded to a uh, unknown chemical investigation at the corner of 23rd and Normandy. Upon our arrival, we ended up finding three 55 gallon containers with an unknown substance. We notified LAPD hazmat and uh, conclude what type of substance we were dealing with. Well, we've determined so far as a PCP uh, dump site of uh, chemicals. After they finish completing their cook, they will come out and just dump it in locations wherever they can find uh, anywhere that's kind of quiet area where no one's around and just dump it and drive away. Right now we're going to talk about what it is you just saw. You just witnessed um, a little cool edit by uh, Dearborn here, and Todd shot it. And Todd, go ahead and explain what it is, why I roll the raw. So, yeah, I was telling Jason earlier, uh, that was this is on 23rd in Normandy, and I get this call where there's a hazmat dump on the street. And normally, like I said, we don't go to... Uh, well, I mean, we always, when it's a hazmat call, you know, it depends on how interesting it will be. And I was the only one out that night. Uh, Scotty wasn't out yet, so... I drove. I drive up to it, and uh, LAPD and LAFD are sitting there with they got the, those three barrels taped off there. And right. uh, basically, I got there, and the, the fire captain told me, "He's like, this is what we're dealing with." He goes, "This is this is a, from a PCP cookoff." I'm like, "No way!" And then <laughs> LAPD, the the guy I know from Southwest Division, he was really cool, and he let me stay and get closer into the into the scene and you know usually you get kicked out when it's especially chemicals and hazmat they don't want anybody around you know so get up wind yeah so he uh he basically was he he filled me in on what was going on and he goes now check yeah, were you tripping out when you saw stuff like that you're yeah. like are they going scuba diving yeah no exactly <laughs> and the, the, that one guy right there the the asian fellow i recognized him from that remember that house i got tented up and I, they had the break in yes. on yeah. yes yes he recognized me too and he's like hey man what's up and i'm like so can I, is it okay if I shoot you? And I shot the equipment in his truck, and these guys are these guys are all really cool. But back to what was happening was is they uh, he's telling me that this this is like a you know there's a in the neighborhood there's a gangs you know that do these these drug cookoffs and, right and this is the, and this is the remnants from the cookoff which they have to get rid of and he goes or normally what they do is they just you know they leave it where they did the cook and then they leave he goes this is. Not unusual, but he goes, it is kind of unusual that they drag this out to the corner of Normandy and 23rd. Yeah, that's like residential. You would think they would go to industrial or something. Right. You know, and, and so I'm saying there's a, there was a house, there's an apartment building complex right on the corner. And so obviously they, I think they were the ones that made the phone call because it smelled so bad, you know. Right. But so having you here, I was just going to ask you, I mean, I mean, look, at this is some serious stuff. You know, they had. That's nasty. Chemicals are the, the worst. You know, those hazmat guys are. Are complete pros between those guys and the bomb squad there there's no more professional yeah no they they, they, they take their time they, they, they they're meticulous on what's going on and yeah they, they come through everything it's nasty stuff I mean you never know what you're dealing with especially if this stuff mixes with something else it could just get in the air and turn into poison gas I mean there there are some pretty intricate things like there <laughs> there are people that commit suicide with chemicals and they'll tape off their entire bathroom, put a big warning sign in the front door saying, chemical suicide, beware. No and way. What, yeah. What's that's the, courteous. It's Isn't really courteous. Weird? It's strange, yeah. you know, yeah, that's weird. that there's some altruism still left in someone that's so depressed and, and hurting and they just want sure. to end it. So what they'll do is they'll sit in a bathtub and mix two chemicals together and breathe that gas in and in 30 seconds. Wow. They're, they're no, gone. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah, it's pretty. You've seen a couple of those go like that's that? That's real quick. I've seen pictures of the scene i've never been to the scene to the scene but you've heard it, it does happen oh like it does this. happen yeah. yeah it's it's so, awful so back to so so anyway so i was sitting there talking with the south with the southwest division officer and him and his partner and he was like this is he was like this is gonna this is kind of bad and i'm like well what do you mean it's kind of bad because another thing no competition for me was showing up to this because it came out it came out as a hazmat right. again no but it came out as a hazmat call and then what i'm what, what, what kind of sparked my interest is that you could hear lafd call for uh the uh, chemical response team you know and the lapd chemical response team and so then i kind of was like okay so something's going on over here but as soon as that get that call comes out and as and when then when all the units get there then it's kind of a hush hush quiet and they don't come over the radios no more or if they do it's like in code or it's a private phone call or whatever they do so i didn't really have any competition so it was kind of nice because i didn't have to i didn't feel like i had to beat anybody out or get another shot but 
the Southwest Division guy he was telling me, he's like, look, he's like, check this out. See what's going on here? And these Suburbans would drive by with full of dudes in the cars just like eyeing us, eye the, the situation and, and the hazmat guys looking over. And he goes, those dudes are probably the guys that are part of this, you know, this gang that did the cook off. And now they're driving by to see what we're doing about the chemicals, you know, and seeing if there are any, or any, or any rival gang members or, or the guys that are made this, this batch of PCP or, or, right. or, you know, or coming or going and seeing what's going on. So it was kind of a, it was a little bit eerie after he told me that about like, you know, then because now you had your, you know, head on a swivel watching every car drive by, you know, and so the chemicals, then, then, what, then what happens next is you see the, the, the LA, uh, LAPD chemical guys come and now they're pulling out the white barrels out of, out of the, the big trash barrels. And so when the one guy comes back and they went to a little powwow, I kind of snuck my camera in right over there. And the fire captain was like, hey, man, he's like, just hang on a second, hold back, because they wanted to do a little debriefing about what was going on. Right. And as soon as that happened, then they broke up. And I went and talked to the, the gentleman from the LAPD hazmat squad. And he goes, oh, yeah. He goes, dude, this is, this is some of the purest PCP I've ever, in my 20 years, he said, of working this uh, detail. He goes, this is some of the purest chemical PCP I've ever come on a scene to, to, to uh, figure out what's going on. Way to go, L.A., way to go. Well, thank you, Google. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's weird about this is I've been, doing, I've been doing this job 17 years, and I've seen the fire hazmat team hundreds of times. Yeah. I think I've seen LAPD hazmat twice, and that's both in his videos. I don't think I've ever come across him in one of my scenes. He's been doing this, what, two years now? Yeah. And he's seen him already twice. And the same guy twice. Yeah. It's just a – it's, just a, that's it's crazy. weird to see the, the – LAPD hazmat. Usually, you see fire hazmat. It's just it's not often you see LAPD hazmat. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking. I was saying too. You know, I mean, I had never seen. I know from you know working with Scott and his videos. I you know the has LAFD has their hazmat guys, and I've seen their truck. But this blue truck that they had, and these guys that pulled up, these guys. I mean, they were straight up like you know in in, in street clothes and flannels, and they just put the gas masks on their boots and and they went over there after the LA out there the LAPD uh, initial team showed up. Right. This other team. On something like this, are they able to tell how much that made? How much PCP? I'm sure that they... That made just by, the, by, by what was there. I mean, obviously, there's no PCP there, but there's stuff there. Do they know, like, okay, this much stuff, they probably made this much? What well, I'm trying to get at is a street value. Is anything well, told to you? No, they didn't, I, I wasn't, that wasn't told any type of street value. God knows. I mean, I've been out of the game for so long. I didn't know PCP was back. It was a big thing in the 70s, 80s, 90s. Yeah. I think it's you know, called something see. else, but to us, it's PCP. Or right, angel dust, or I think it's sherms, shrooms, sherming, sh- sherm, no. sherm. No, it's not. Mm. No, it's not. It. No, PCP was it was a I've liquid. Been out of the drug game like for a, a while, you know. Liquid chemical type thing. You dip. Remember Super Cools? Yeah. They dip yeah, yeah. cool cigarettes in them and dry them out and then smoke That's them. That's the sherm. That, that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's really it's well strange drug, man. You see a guy on PCP, you, you could tell how he walks, just his gait. Yeah. It's like he's walking on clouds. Very soft. Very right. easy. Cool. It's. Supposed to be a bitching feeling <laughs> until so they get they pissed say. off. <laughs> so they say, and, yeah, and then it takes ten of you guys to take one down. right? Yeah, it's insane. But here's the yeah, here's the card. Here's the the uh, the chemical the, the response truck that I'd, I'd never seen before yet either. And this this thing has every gadget on it, man. Where do they, where do they park that 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 truck at, Jay? Do they? They have a they have a place in Hollenbeck area, East LA. They have their own station. But yeah, they'll bring that out whenever. You know, it's pretty easy for the fire department to say, uh, this is some criminal activity or some nefarious stuff going on. So, right. So, th- so look at the gear this guy gets to play with in life. Like, right. So basically, I know, you get to dress up like that <laughs> and, and wear a gun. Oh, I, you had plenty of time in your career to play dress up. <laughs> plenty of time in your career to play dress up. But right, no, but you, you said something like, this is, this is criminal. After LAFD uh, kind of figures out what's going on with their hazmat team and their guys, this is criminal activity. So exactly. Ha- so LAPD has to get called in right. on something like this. Yeah, yeah. And then they'll conduct an investigation and, you know, they'll deem it, you know, something. Something's not right about that, definitely. I mean, chemicals in these trash cans in a neighborhood like that, I mean, that just didn't happen. Right. And the guy, the, the guy got sound from, the guy that, was, uh, that, that showed up with this crew right here, he was telling me that he goes, GB. He goes, this happens way more often than you think. He goes, but they normally will just do it in alleyways or in, in a park that's got a deep field in the back. You know, they'll just they'll drag it out there and dump it in a walk. And I'm like, well, what's the point of like, like why can't they just leave it where they're at? You know, he goes, well, sometimes it's you know a residence where they made the shit. You know, and they and they can't. You know, they they don't want it obviously sticking around where someone's yeah. living and stuff. This like is that. free disposal. 
Right. And I mean, it's free disposal and, uh, at, at, by the tax. No, not free because now the taxpayers are paying for yeah, LAPD there's... to come out and, and, and handle this. Nothing free, friend. Nothing free. Nothing free. So That's crazy. Um, so, yeah, that gets us uh, pretty much out of that, right? Anything else you want to talk about when it comes to that?